music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called I Love My Pappy by Jennifer Lopez, and we'll end up capoing this on third fret to kind of match the recording, but we're going to walk through a couple things in reposition. And you can start off with kind of that main bass line that happens through the tune where you can play third fret on the A string, third fret on the low E string twice, and then first fret on the low E twice. So we got kind of a C, G, G, F, F, it's kind of the notes there. Three on the A, three on the low E, three, one, one. And that kind of gets varied up a little bit in the bridge where you could play three on the A, three on the low E, and then open E, and then go to first fret on the low E. So it's almost kind of the same arrival point going that three, three, oh, one, C, G, E, F. And if you wanted to back those up with chords, we'd start on a C major chord. When we play C major, First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and third finger on the A string, third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And you may also want to think about lifting off the first finger and making that a C major 7. Or adding in the pinky on the B string, third fret, for a C major 9 and kind of saying some things around the C chord. Or another way to play C major 9 is to do first finger on the D second, second finger on the A third. Third finger on the B string, third pinky on the high E third, and if you strum the A string to the high E string, it sounds a C major nine. It sounds really groovy. Yeah. And then from the C we go to a G major chord. When we play G major, first finger goes to the A string on the second fret, second finger on the low E string, third fret, and third finger on the high E string, third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string, third pinky on the high E for your G. That might be kind of a cool way to kind of work it is kind of keeping that three and four in the same place. And then from the G we go to an F major chord. There's a couple different ways you may want to try it. Normally you do this as a first fret bar, second finger on the G second, third finger on the A string, third pinky on the D string third. That sounds an F major bar chord and sounds really happy. Or you get to substitute for that if you're starting out as something called F major seven, where you do the first finger on the B string first fret, second finger on the G second fret, third finger on the D string third fret. If you strum the D string to the high E, it sounds an F major 7 and it sounds really groovy happy. Or if you're kind of digging on the C major 9 voicing, you could do an F by doing first finger on the G string 2nd, 2nd finger on the D 3rd, 3rd finger on the B string 3rd, pinky on the high E 3rd, and kind of an F major 13 kind of sound. So that might be kind of cool to just kind of leave that 3 and 4 in the same place through the whole tune if you kind of dig on that kind of C. different ways you could kind of work it too. You may want to think about doing down strokes. And this would be a little weird. It could be kind of cool to do kind of a three on the C, five on the G, and then eight on an F. This is a little weird because we're kind of half things. C, two, three, G, one, two, three, four, five, F. C, one, two, three, G, one, two, three, four, five, F. Or a lot of times with a song like this, I like to add something called a strum pattern. My favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you took the C and tried that a lot, you'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. The weird thing about applying that is the C and the G kind of half. So you may want to do just a down, down up on each of those chords to kind of half those chords. Or another possibility would be to kind of split the strum pattern and do the C with a down, down, G on the up. Sixteenth note strum pattern, and what I mean by that is, if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is, if you take the C and do a down for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's what you do on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you do a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, two, one, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, down, down. So all together, you got down. the beginning, you 
can do just the down, down, down up on each of those chords. You're kind of big on that. You're kind of half in that way. Or you can take the pattern and split it. And you can do the C with the down, down, down. But then go to the G for the up, up, down, down, up, down, up. And then go to your F with the whole pattern. Or there's other 16 patterns that can be cool. is to play along with Jennifer Lopez, instead of starting on a C major chord, she's starting on an E flat major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on third fret, then now your C is really an E flat major, and your G is really an E flat major, and your F is really an A flat major. But you could kind of kick it off with that bass line, kind of that three, 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 one, or the three, three, extra notes. I love you, Poppy, by Jennifer Lopez. So, good luck. <laughs>